Uh, it's a two, it's a two vehicle uh, convoy. We have uh, Mercedes uh, Arox tractor units at the front, uh, 630 brake horsepower, uh, 16 speed uh, automatic gearbox. Uh, same at the back, same, same truck combination at the back. Between them we've got two eight axle uh, Schuyler Intercombi hydraulic modular trailers, uh, each fitted with a turntable. Uh, the third tractor unit at the back is an MAN, uh, similar uh, specification to the Mercedes. Uh, that is there in case of uh, breakdown or if we need to uh, exchange drivers due to driving hours. Both of the eight axle bogies we're using, modular bogies, uh, are fitted with a trailer man's seat at each end, one at each end, and we have two trailer men, one on each bogey to uh, organise and handle the uh, suspension and the steering of the bogies, and they sit on there for the entire length of the journey, and they're adjusting the suspension uh, up and down and left and right, and they're also uh, managing the steering. Yes, I mentioned about humpback bridges, obviously they all vary in size and shape. Uh, there's a particularly difficult one at Faisley, uh, but we have to make sure that the vehicle we're using for the job will negotiate the bridge. It's how much we can uh, raise and lower the trailer to get clearance for the load to go over uh, and enough raise and lower on the axles and the suspension to, uh, to negotiate the bridge. So early 2019 we'd uh, recently completed a project for Air Liquide uh, which was also at the Coles Hill site um, and during the completion of that project we were informed that they'd uh, purchased some very large storage tanks um, and could we look at the possibilities of well, how we could move them to uh, the site at Coles Hill. Uh, at that stage we didn't have a port in mind. Um, the route to, uh, to Coles Hill um, is untried, it's never been done before at this, this size, weight or anything. Um, so we nominated Ellesmere Port at least to uh, make a, a route study um, to see if it was possible to get from, from there down to Coles Hill. Uh, our routing uh, team uh, were involved. They spent uh, many, many a day driving up and down the route, uh, checking bridge heights, uh, checking for manoeuvrability. Um, and that process uh, took more than, six, more than six months. And our job was to get them from Ellesmere Port to Coles Hill. Um, so the route basically, uh, in fairly simple terms, was to leave Ellesmere Port and you depart from there directly onto the M53 and that's the only part of motorway we use for the whole journey. Um, we cross through one junction, Junction 9, and then we have to have the centre barriers removed um, and the reason for that is because we cannot get under the interchange at Junction 10. Uh, the bridge is too low and the loads are too high to go on, on any motorway with um, a series of bridges on. Head down through Stoke-on-Trent, Newcastle under Lyme, Stafford, Rusley, um, Cannock, Brown Hills, uh, and on to Faisley and down to Coles Hill. Uh, quite a convoluted route. Um, initial plans were um, an initial visual route survey and then we carried on to do um, full-blown surveys where we do swept path analysis for all the junctions, um, vertical issue challenges, uh, that's sort of uh, humpback bridges and that sort of thing on the route and we check the route for over overhead structures and then we um, we deal with the cable authorities and the power power authorities, electric cables, BT, um, open reach, um, and we deal with the rivers and canals and the net and network rail to make sure the route's suitable for weight. Uh, and once we've got an indication of the route, we then submit that to Highways England uh, because loads of this side require a special order, uh, which takes some considerable time to obtain. Um, and they actually put the applications out to all the authorities and the authorities go back to Highways England, they collate all the information and they advise us where there are problems and what we can and can't do uh, and once it's all agreed they issue this with a special order uh, which we got by the 24th of December last year.